I thank you for joining us today as we present this telecast, which is taken from the Open Heavens Daily Guide, written by Pastor E. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. The topic today is the word. The word. Bible passage is taken from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 6 to 8. The voice said, cry out. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. And all its loveliness is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. Because the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flowers fade. But the word of our God stands forever. Our memory verse, Hebrew chapter 4, verse 12. The word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Our reflection. What can we do without the word of God? It is the word of God that reveals God to us. It is the word of God that points us to the will and ways of God. The word of God reveals the mind of God to us at all times. Without the word of God, we would not have been able to have access to the saving grace of our Lord and Savior and to have the salvation of our soul. We, as believers, have no reason to believe except through the revealed word of God, which has led to the transformation of our lives. There are, however, a lot of people in the world today who don't believe in the word of God. They place their hope and their expectation on other sources which will ultimately fail them. The word of God stands sure and it never fails. The Bible is clear about this in Isaiah chapter 40, verses 7 to 8. It says, The grass withers, the flower fades, because the Spirit of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. The word of God never fails. The Bible says that heaven and the earth will pass away, but the word of the Lord will not pass away. Matthew 24, 35. The word of God stands the test of time. The word of God is everlasting. It has no use by dates, except when it has com accomplished and done what it is sent to do. We are sustained through the word of God, and we are consolidated and perfected through the word of God. The word of God is definitely found in the scriptures. At the same time, the word of God comes through anointed messages from the mouth of the prophets of God. Remember 2 Kings chapter 7 when Elisha uttered the word of God for the miraculous provision? For the people of Samaria during acute food shortage, the word came to pass the next day as prophesied by the man of God. And the man who doubted did not take part in it, but he died in his unbelief. As you believe the Lord this season, you will know no lack. You will know no desperation in the name of Jesus. Please don't joke with the word of God. Treat it with reverence and believe the word of the Lord and you shall be established. Believe his prophet and you will prosper. That's what we are told in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. Our action point. Prayerfully improve on your reading, studying, meditating, and memorizing of the Word of God. Thank you for listening today. And I pray that the good Lord bless you. Please hold on to the Word. The Word will make a change, a difference in your life today and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>